Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over what I love and what I hate about becoming a network engineer and just about being a network engineer in general. So let's get straight into this. So um, I have my list here, just so I don't forget anything. So the first one that I that I love is obviously the salary. So one of the good things about becoming a network engineer is that you do get compensated pretty well. So network engineers can range between like you know, salary range between 80K to well over uh, six figures, right? So that's pretty much pretty awesome. And remember, like you can make really good salaries without even needing a college degree or even like tons of certifications. So um, it does pay well. And, and that's one of the big reasons I know a lot of you guys want to get into this field and just in tech in general, because the pay is quite good and um, it's a fun field to work in, right? So that's one of the things that I love about becoming a network engineer. And by the way, I'm going to talk about the things I love first, and then I'll go to the things I hate after. So the next one is problem solving. This is, this is something I love about it. Every single day you're solving problems. You're solving issues. This, this port is down. Why can't we route to this uh, uh, this IP address? Why can't we, um, you know, why why is the MAC address table not showing in this ARP table? How can we fix that? Why is this device down? We're trying to solve these problems. How do we re reboot a device without causing an outage? Um, how do we traffic shift device? Like, there's so many problems that you're trying to solve, and it's like you're putting the puzzle pieces together, and it never gets boring when you're doing these problems, right? Um, it, it's quite fun to do, um, and if you if you really love solving problems and, and solving interesting problems day to day, and you know you know every day is a battle, right? Every day you're doing something new, you've never seen this before. Maybe you know it, it gets interesting, and and that's one of the things that um, is really cool about you know becoming a network engineer is like you're just you're you're putting all these pieces together, um, and and, you know, you're, you're trying to solve these technical problems that are very fun um, and you're going to be doing day to day. So if you guys are really interested in doing that, um, you're absolutely going to love it. And it's something that you guys should definitely do. So that's one of them. Um, number number three is it's impactful. The work you're doing is really, really impactful as an engineer, as in, as specifically as a network engineer, because we are, like I said, the, the middle men in between making sure the internet is working. The, the reason we're able to watch a specific YouTube video, it's pretty awesome. Um, what we're doing as engineers, we're, we're the ones who making sure it's fast, efficient, reliable, and working because at the end of the day, it's what we, what we're doing. It, it offers that. And, uh, you know, it's very impactful because we, we can cause a lot of problems as engineers and a lot of engineers know that. So it's uh, we have a huge responsibility as a network engineer to provide um, really good connectivity to our users. Um, and that's our duty. And, and it's, you know, what we are doing. And, you know, we have a lot of impact, right? That's why, you know, when it comes to layoffs, network engineers aren't really laid off as much because, you know, it, we are the people that make sure uh, things are operating smoothly at the end of the day, right? Um, it does come with some cons, but obviously, um, th that is one of the good things is, is, you know, we make sure things are actually running. Right, kind of like, kind of like why electricians are 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 sort of needed, right? Well, why do we have electricians for a certain reason? Because we need to make sure the lights are on. Same with us in network engineers. We're we're there to make sure the internet is working at the end of the day. So that's really cool. I um, mean, obviously with security and all that stuff, we also help in that side as well. So um, number four is it's really you're dealing with a lot of cool technologies, right? Um, and just tech in general, like devices, like you get to actually touch physical devices as a network engineer, right? It's it's pretty cool. Um, you got these racks and with servers and and routers and switches and firewalls and it, it's awesome. And and all these cables and fiber optical cables, it, it's really cool and you can get really geeked out on it. And it's uh it's quite interesting because uh, most fields in tech, you don't really ha you're just talk to a computer, you're not really actually touching anything else. And network engineering really offers you that. And it's, it's an amazing field and just in general. So, um, that's one big thing. It's, it's impactful. So, and, and, and really cool tech. So, uh, number five, it's, you know, you can work remote. I know a lot of people, their big, their big thing is they want to work remote. Um, and you know, with network engineering, um, there are some positions where you can actually work fully remote, right? I work fully remote as a network engineer myself. And uh, that, that's one of the cool things that you can, you know, find positions where you're actually working remote. And last one is a clear path. So, you know, if you guys want to move up within networking, it's very clear. You know, once you become a network engineer, then you level up your skills, then you, you know, go into the next field, which is a senior network engineer or a security engineer or a cloud network engineer. Um, and then from there, then you can go into a principal engineer. Then from there, you can go into network architect. Like it's a very clear path to get to. And if you want to go the cert route, you can go the CCNA, CCMP, CCIE. It's very clear on, on what you need to do to get to that level. 
right? So it's a very clear path. So those are the things I love, right? I, you know, network engineering, it's an amazing field, uh, but it does have some cons, right? It has some, has some things that I hate actually. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's just get straight into that. So um, the big one is you're always going to be on call um, at, at some point, maybe even a bigger team, you might not have to be on call all the time, but uh, you may have to be on call. And what does that mean? So on call basically means um, whenever you know, stuff happens, whenever something breaks, you're going to have to be there to fix it. You know, um, you're going to be called maybe at one in the morning. I've been called at one in the morning, two in the morning to fix things, right? This is just what we do as an engineer. Um, that's why we're highly compensated for what the work we do, because we have a huge responsibility to make sure, you know, we're in operations. We got to make sure things are working when they should be working. And uh, you'll be, you may be called. So if you're not, you know, if that's something that you hate, then I completely understand that. And, you know, maybe networking might not be for you, right? But that's probably one of the biggest cons, I would say, is that on call. Um, number number two would be the blame game. So, um, you know, as an engineer, you're always going to be blamed for, for something that you've done because, you know, you're, like I said, we have a lot of responsibility and power to where, you know, you'll be the first to be blamed because, hey, it's not working because of the network, but it may just be because of your VM is the problem, right, at the end of the day. But you will be blamed, as an engineer, but then it's totally fine. I mean, you can just show the evidence, say, hey, I can ping. You know, everything else is, looks good. It, the problem's on your end. There's nothing on our end that we can do. You show them the stats, you show them the data, and there's pretty much you're all good. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's it, You are blamed. I get blamed a lot. You think it's all your fault, but if you have the evidence to prove it, you're completely fine, and you're there's really nothing you can do at that point if they keep complaining. So just show them the evidence, and, you know, you're all good to go. So um, number three is that, you're never in the spotlight. So as you guys know, cybersecurity is always always in the spotlight. Um, it's it's the biggest field right right now. It's the hottest field in tech. Everyone wants to get into it. Um, it gets us the biggest spotlight. Um, and you know, most people don't even know what networking is. If it, the average person, like I, I talk to a lot of people, and people they, they have no idea. When I explain, when I say, hey, I'm a network engineer, they have no idea what I'm talking about. Like, like, like they have this thing. What is that? Like they, they have no, like, and I, to be fair, it makes sense because no one, like, it's such a unique field. It's not even unique. It's just such a, a lack of, like, no one talked about this field. And at the end of the day, when you explain to people, sometimes I'm just like, Hey man, it's just, I make sure the internet's working. That's all I do. <laughs> because at the end of the day, it's, it, some people may not get it. Some people may understand it, but people know software engineers. Like people know that people know, Hey, I work in data. Hey, I work in cloud. Like they have some idea of what you're talking about, but networking, it's like, what are you, are, are you like an electrician? Are you like, are you like networking with people? Are you like, are you like, are you like going to conferences and networking? Like, yeah, it, it, that that's something that you have to deal with as well. Um, is that, you know, you're never in the spotlight and actually, you know, people just expect the network team to get it, get it to work. Right. And then another one is that it's pretty, sometimes it can be boring. Like there's sometimes as a network engineer where you're just doing stuff that's repetitive and boring and you're doing the same thing every time you're like, ah, oh, this is getting so boring. Um, and that's, that's one big, you know, thing I hate is that, you know, you're sometimes you're just doing the same thing every single time and you're like, I'm not really learning. Like, I'm not really, like, I'm just doing the same thing every single time. Um, and sometimes that may happen. Maybe you're, you're doing, you have to just run the script like many times over and you have to keep doing it many times. And that's just part of the job. Sometimes you're going to be doing things that are repetitive and, you know, it's not going to always be exciting at the same time. I, I didn't mention that there is exciting things, but there are some times where it's just boring, where I'm just like, damn. So that's one big thing that, that could be a huge con. Um, Another thing is, this is not really a con, but maybe a con for some people, is that you, you have to keep learning. Like, you have to keep updating your skills. Um, and there's always going to be someone behind you who can take your position at some point. Uh, because if you're not performing well, um, then you're not going to be able to succeed in this sort of role because you you have to be updating your skill set. You have to be getting new certs. You, I mean, you don't have to get new certs, but you have to be getting, getting new skills. Um, some, some people get the cert route, right? Um, you can keep getting more skills. Uh, but that's never going to stop. So if you don't want to do that, then I would recommend a different field, maybe like nursing, where the medical field is pretty much the same. Uh, you don't really have to like keep learning. Um, you can just do that field. But uh, but yeah, I know some people who like even after work, they're still studying, you know, they're still like practicing their skills. That can be a huge heartache and, and very time consuming as well. So um, that's why it's, uh, <laughs> some people don't like doing that. And I completely understand that. So um, those are the things that I love and hate about becoming a network engineer and, and being one. Um, but overall, you know, I, I love the industry. You know, there's nothing like the grass isn't always green on the other side. You know, 
there's nothing like nothing can always be all great at the, at the end of the day. So uh, that's kind of what I love and hate about becoming a network engineer. Um, and let me know if you guys have any if yourself put down in the comments about your uh, what you love, what you hate about it. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, if you guys want mentorship on how to become a network engineer and land a network engineering position, um, I offer mentorship where I help students literally go from zero to landing a network engineering position. So if you guys want more uh, mentorship on that, please click the link down below and schedule a call with me and I can show you exactly how to uh, get a network engineering position. Um, so uh, thank you guys so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe, feel free to subscribe. Um, and thank you guys so much for your time again. And Peace.